All right, nice to have you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, now, Thank the man you. in the chaps, the man in the Harley <laughs> Davidson shirt, the man with the puka shells, the stand-up comedian, the oh. man himself, uh, Mr. Shut Up Sean. I almost feel like I'm being a little degrading, Tom, right off the bat by well, saying, calling him there's, Shut there's Up some, There's some Sean. spite that goes along with that, that, uh, that name, too. You know, a lot of the guys who are, they underestimated me, and then I came back through, and I made the CD. <laughs> and once I duplicated the CD, they, uh, you know, they kind of like were a little flabbergasted up there all this time, kind of put me down, and then I came out with it, and so... So it's sort of trying out has a little spike behind it too. Now, now, Hopefully. now, 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 Sean. One of the things that you want to do is you want to do stand up comedy. Yeah, I, I believe I can do it. Okay, Super well, moment. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just rip in to, to telling us some jokes, well, and we'll sit here and we'll what, just. Uh, what has forty two teeth and holds back the Incredible Hulk? Uh, my mother in law. But go ahead. My zipper. Your zipper. <laughs> So basically, right now I got this little this little the dilemma going on. It had started like about a year and a half ago. I uh, was working over my boss's house, and uh, I seen he had a young the neighbor kid was kind of young. He's about seven, eight years old. And I was thinking, you know, what would be really cool is if I gave my drum set to that kid so he could sit there and play the drums right next to my boss's house. And so I gave them to him, and and and, and I got a good kick out of it because everyone's like, he complains that that damn kid was playing the drums over there all the time. So I was thinking, about, I was like, how am I gonna top that, you know? So last year for Christmas, I uh, I went out, went all out, and I bought him a huge uh, wind chime, big one, <laughs> like same bucks. And I, 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 I said one, his wife would have to hang it up, you know. And about six weeks later, I asked him, I said, "Hey, did you ever hang that wind chime up?" And sure shit, he did on his patio. Now every time I watch the news and I see the wind blowing like seven miles an hour, ten miles an hour, any direction, I just get a good fucking laugh because I know on his patio, like, <laughs> while well, he's trying to sleep in on Saturday or Sunday, you know. So I'm trying to figure out what I can get him this year for a Christmas gift, a real nice one. Um, okay. kind of figured something getting pretty good. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe an animal. That now we need to get animal food and clean the feces, and maybe that might be good. <laughs> huh? I'm trying. We're trying to try. He's getting gotten when he's eating. Don't he's getting getting. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, so, Sean, so you're also you're also a musical performer, and you do. Uh, yeah, I just it, record. I'm like, excuse me. There's other two guys singing. I guess I'm not to bust out an acapella. I flew in this weekend. I hadn't had enough time to do my preparation to do a good <laughs> singing for you guys. So, uh, and and what what is the the song that you're best known for? Uh, the the song that gets the most attention on YouTube is "Give Me a Beer," but uh, I don't I don't even really drink beer. Uh, I drink very very little of it, but I just make songs that I think the public will want to hear. I am working on a new song called uh, Dog Tags, and Dog I, tags. I, could, I could sing that a cappella a little bit if you guys want to really hear some. Well, um, Stefan, I think I'm down for hearing him sing yeah. a little a cappella. Sure. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Well, first of all, first of all you guys were, were giving me a hard time about the the, the tuxedo. Uh, when I came here, it was a big deal for me, and I wanted to be in a tuxedo. Yeah. But, but uh, and I said I'd even go in speedos and and in my chaps if I could promote promote my music, you know. And so they laughed about it. But what I would like to do is I saved that money instead of buying a tuxedo, and I'd like to pass it around this, this box of envelopes. Everybody take one and pass it around. Keep going until all the envelopes are gone. And there's some money in here that I would have spent on the tux. I'd like to give it back to the people that are going to actually help me promote my music. I like yeah. how you came okay, running okay. back well, in, Raymundo. Let's, let's talk about your CD. Your CD <laughs> is titled Feral. Hey, so someone said money. I'm going to run back in. Your, your CD is titled Feral, and it's from Shut Up Sean, and you can you can search your videos on YouTube, etc. What is this shit with the hosts getting to pick the envelope? I mean, the help getting to pick the envelopes first. I, 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 I'm just, Tom, I'm just, apparently he's passing out money. I, I know, and the help is picking envelopes right now. Hey, you shouldn't call Stefan the help. That's kind of racist, but whatever. <laughs> Why not? You call me colored. Hey, hey, I haven't said that in a long time. You gotta pick one and pass it until <laughs> they're empty. I didn't know three weeks was a long pick time. One and pass. Well, this is, this is very unique. I think I, think <laughs> I picked the empty. I'm pretty sure I did. But anyways, uh, uh, Sean, where can yeah. they find your CD? Where can they order that at? Like, uh, you know, right now I'm trying to get that going. It's some really hard. Uh, I'm kind of like computer illiterate, which makes the whole music uh, passion kind of very difficult. Uh, I'm the artist, not really the promoter. Uh, you go on YouTube, is the best thing you can do for me is uh, go on YouTube and leave a comment. Uh, it's really hard to get the comments or a like. I'd really appreciate that a lot. Shut up, Sean is all capitals, uh, all one word with the A-U-N. So it's shut up, Sean, A-U-N. And if you can leave a comment on there. I'll take one. Okay. Now, now I'll tell you what. Your video is very interesting because you took like some Grand Theft Auto like type graphics and made a whole music video out of it. In fact, um, uh, Jack, can you put up my computer? I want to play. I want to play a little bit of his music video. Gotcha. Whoa! <laughs> Suit yourself. Do you want me to get the law on you? I'm gonna oh, knock your people out. Oh. I'm gonna knock the What's going on? for you! Fire! Oh! said they're out of here. No, they're not out of here. They're gonna run out of here. 
very nice okay so what inspired those lyrics sean uh, i want to make something that the, the public can relate with you know all my friends drink beer and stuff like that it's a pretty common thing and uh, i just came with the riff we were experimenting and it just kind of came out there yeah now i didn't realize till tonight that actually two of my <laughs> two of my friends are in your band oh yeah uh, uh robert powell he's pretty uh, <laughs> but 50 percent of my band he's a uh, a big strength in it. And he did all the recordings and uh, helped me with all the music. Without him, there would be no Shut Up Sean. Yeah, There's, Robert Powell. Me and Robert go way back. I used to play yeah. drums with Robert for years. Yeah, and I remember. We were when, I was, when I was in junior <laughs> high school, he was a famous drummer in junior high school. Oh, and, and I played with him back then when he was in the hardcore bands. Yeah. I was in another hardcore yeah. band. Yeah. He's and, uh, a flash drive. Oh, yeah. And I caught oh, up to oh. him. It's weird. I caught up to him about. Uh, like five or six years later out of that and then we, we, we hung up for just a short time and i was watching him like a hawk just trying to get everything i could sponge off of him you know yeah and then we got a, we went distant for a little bit and then i caught back up with him just recently uh like 2015 and uh things really went well the cool thing about robert is he never uh he never like doubted me or, or he always gave me the full range of uh, uh to do my, whatever i wanted to do the full freedom and, yeah uh, that's yeah. what happened with it. Yeah, and I didn't know that till tonight. But yeah, Robert's a Robert's a very good friend of mine. I mean, we we talk regularly. I always, uh, I always tease him that he he can't cook eggs and he can't drive and he couldn't mow a lawn if he had to. But if he comes to the music, he can do you know anything you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So 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 you've got this. Do you ever perform live? Well, no. We usually just we just uh, we just play like in garages and small things. You know, it's usually kind of hard to take all this stuff out live and set it all up. Like it takes a little bit of effort to really. Go play it in the bars and get it right and come back, you know, if we really want to do it. Yeah, but you have to do that, Sean. 
I mean, if you want to take it to the best. I do originals, and nobody wants to take a chance on the originals. And I just have a hard time seeing copies. I just don't want to sing covers and do it kind of half ass. I want to, if I'm seeing cover, it has to be perfect. And if I do my own music, then I can just kind of like, I can make it my way. You yeah. Know? It takes a lot of the. the that off. video is great. Whoever put that video together, uh, Drew, t- Drew Terrell, yeah. The the veteran, great, another veteran. great job. Give me a beer. It's, it's definitely a song I can relate to. You yeah. made another one for the Gonna Get It video. Uh, they're going to get it. It's about like, you know, you just told the person too many times you stop doing that. And that's the point where you're just going to, like your brother and stepbrother or something, you're going to get it, you know? Yeah. yeah. Another one like that, too. Yeah. A total of 13 uh, videos. Uh, 11, two of them are animated and 11 are regular videos. And you have regular videos, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so you're wanting to be a double threat. You're wanting to be a, a, a musician singing songs like Give Me a Beer. And you're also wanting to be a comedian. Tell me one more joke. Come on. I know you got another joke there on the tip of your tongue. It's funny. Uh, it reminds me of the Christmas joke. My dad, he always gave me a real nice Christmas, you know. And so I was like 22, 23, and I was working, and I was making a little money. And I said, man, I'm going to buy my dad a nice gift, you know. He just saw a gift. He always did me right. So I went down, I bought him this uh, wood plane, and, and it was like 200 bucks for the wood plane, and it was like 150 bucks for the remote control. It was a pretty solid gift, you know. I thought, I told him, I said, yeah, Dad, you can take it out in the garage and build that, and you know, get away from me and Mom, and I don't care if you crash on the first flight, but give you something to do and everything. He's like, oh, yeah, man, nice gift, nice gift. I like it, really cool. So the next year came around, and uh, I started thinking about it, and I said, man, i never seen him fly that plane or do anything with that. Where is that plane at? <laughs> so I went there, and I started looking around his room, and and then uh, I seen it up in his closet. It was just still sitting up in the closet. Still in the box. Yeah, so I was there and I didn't even touch. And I was like, oh, hell no. Hell, I paid like 350 bucks for this thing. So I rewrapped it and I put it into the tree. <laughs> so, 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 so we're handing out the gifts, right? And, and we're, we're like, we're, we're getting around. Here you go, Daddy. Here's your gift. And he's like, all right. What's this? What's this going on here? Shh. All right. All right, man. I like Oh, no, these planes, huh? He's like, oh, yeah, I like these planes. I said, yeah, Dad. I, I got different mobile controls so we can fly them together and stuff. You paint yours blue and I'll have mine red. We can go fly like red barons together. So, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I like this plane, man. These are nice gifts, man. They're totally cool, man. Right, right, right. I said, yeah, man, all right. We'll take them out. So later on in the, in the day, your mom starts cooking breakfast and stuff, and he's kind of wandering back in his room. And I go back, and Dad, what are you doing? What's going on? Your mom's making breakfast. Come on out here. So, oh, yeah, I'm just going to the bathroom. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I'll, I'll, be, I'll just come right out there. What he was doing, though, he's looking for the, he's looking for the, the old plane, you know? He didn't realize the, it was the, <laughs> the one he wrapped. And uh, I finally told him at dinner, I said, hey, man, that's the same plane that I gave you last year. Maybe this year you'll use it. Said, oh, I knew. I knew the whole time. I knew the whole time. But he didn't. I, I got him good that time. <laughs> well, that's a funny story, Jack. Wouldn't you say that's a funny story? Yeah. I mean, do you, Jack, do you, do you have Christmas? You have Christmas with your dad, right? Oh, my, my father passed away. Oh, your father passed away. Your mom's still around, though. Yes. Okay, your mom. mom. And Stan's dad's still around. Yes. All right. That was a funny story, Sean. Tell me tell me another story. Come on. I know you got more. Oh, I got a few of them. I saw, I saw something hey. in your notes that says something about pizza or something. I don't know. I saw... I, 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 you had how come, a... How come there's not a first task rule? Like, you know, there's this girl I'm infatuated with, right? I'm around her. And I'm just waiting for her to ask me to do anything, you know? And so she gives me the first task. You should be able to go into the store or somewhere and there announce, hey, I'm on first task. I'm on first task. Let him go straight to the front of the line, get the food, come right back out so he can come back with the food. And I'm like, oh, she should be impressed. Damn, it's still hot. How'd you get that so quick? But I was like, telling first task in the store, you know? You get to the, you like, help you get to the date. That goes back to the date thing with the with the pizza, <laughs> pizza and fuck. It'd be cool, right? They can help you out. People are like, oh, first yeah, this guy's been trying to get this girl for two years, man. Let him go to the front and get the food and get him back and impress her. Oh, Jesus Christ, give him, give him a fighting chance. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the pizza and fuck, and the pizza and fuck, and it comes down to this, man, right up there. You want to know what kind of chicken's bra really is, and you're hanging out with her, you know, you want to get straight to the point. After, after the second drink, on the second drink, and halfway down through the second drink, you just look her at the bra, and you just tell her, hey, let's get some pizza and fuck. And she, she'll go, she'll go, she'll go, she'll go and then you talk, but you don't like pizza? <laughs> but, but right after that, if she takes it cool, man, she can laugh it off and like, you know, silly guy, and she got a sense of humor. Or if she gets all offended, like, oh, I'm out of here. That's just totally rude. And you want her to leave because I ain't buying her a third drink, fucking she can go and fuck, you know? <laughs> He is really losing his hey, shit right now. Look at his face. Hey, 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 you know what that baby blue eyeshadow is in the compact that you never use? You know what that baby blue eyeshadow is for? Come on, Don. That's the green light, man. You put that on inside the house, the baby blue eyeshadow. I come around in the kitchen. I look and see you in the kitchen. And, oh, you got the baby blue eyeshadow on. By the way, I know. You want, you're going to let me do my dance. You're in the mood. You'll have a little frisky, you know? <laughs> but, 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 it's, it's the green light inside the house. That's what it's for. The girls never use it. They never use it. You know, the, wrong, the wrong color lipstick and that baby blue eyeshadow. I start putting on my chicken dance and I know it's 
on, you know? Because because the girls never really come forward and say, they let you know that they're in the mood. They'll sit there playing like the like, like cat all night. You never know what you like, can I fuck or not to fuck? And we did last night, can we go two in a row? What do you think? How can you feel? And if you ask them, they go, oh, oh, they would sigh off, you know? Like, <laughs> my girlfriend, my girlfriend's mad at me because uh, last night I was, I was really getting to the bottom of things, you know. And she started, she started, she started, she started whispering my name. She starts saying Sean, Sean, and I'm thinking I'm doing most of the work here, so I started saying my name too. Well, I was saying we were both saying my name at the same time. Sean, Sean, but I was saying it a little louder than she was, you know, because I was doing the work. <laughs> I put my hands out, I laid on my chest, put my hands out to look, stun sex, stun sex, stun sex. Stunt sex. Yeah. Stunt sex. Stunt sex. <laughs> wow. Oh, I was with this girl, her name was Donna, she put light bulbs up in her pussy. <laughs> I, was really, I was so like, I didn't want to be offended or turned on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> And there was a kicker. There was a kicker. After I took her home after the weekend, I came home back in my place. I went to walk in. I turned on the light. There was fucking dark, no light. What the fuck? I walked in. There was out of the five lamps in my house. I only had fucking two light bulbs in them. I was like, damn, I take this. She goes, the lamps plus or what, man? It was a little over the top, dude. A little over the top. I, my numbers were high, you know, but when I plug it out, I was like, whoa. Oh, oh man. You know what killed it? I bought her a cell phone, and I brought one to take her nose out of the cell phone for 24 hours. Uh-huh, what? Okay. I said, man, I'm taking you home after that. <laughs> I'm saying, I got to get a phone for this bro. I got to call her again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then I bought that phone, she wouldn't take her nose out, and she's like, this in the phone. like, 24 hours, just calling uh-huh, okay, all right. I was like, man, you know the story, you're out. <laughs> 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 that was the end of that one. You know the story. You're out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh Lord, Lord Shud, you have a you have so a you gift. You want to hear an acapella song? But one of the one I'm working on the dog tags. This song's called Dog Tags. I, I did, fucking I, do it. I did three tours in Iraq, and, I, I, and you think I'm a little crazy, but I seen a lot of different things. The last tour I was in Iraq, we took an incoming 137 days out of 365. Wow. So imagine living here in this, this neighborhood, and, and, and uh, they have this horn to go off, a big balloon, and it would break an invisible radar net, and the horn would go off, and you have 8 to 10 seconds going to funerals uh, once every two weeks, and all this stuff like that. So when I came back, I said, I'm going to try to live my life a little differently, you know? The people in the army would always say, oh, you live in California? You ever been to Hollywood? I'm like, fuck yeah. I, I ate lunch with every, every letter on the H in my back, a fucking L, fucking, I have a fucking, no, fucking, but right before I came out here, I fucking had uh, McDonald's with Tom Cruise. Like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I get bored over there. I just make up stories, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> McDonald's with Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's... <laughs> so... This kind of reminds me of Todd Von D was to do stand up. Yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be very similar. We should get them together. Oh yeah, and do like some type a of little rap battle, a little rap battle set up. All right, Sean. Well, 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 let's put it this way: people that are interested in your music that want to buy the track, uh, give me a beer or any of that kind of stuff. Where do they find you online to make the connection? Is it? Can I have permission to, if they call and leave a, 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 an address here at, at the number? I don't can, care. Can what? I give out my numbers out? Is that the wrong thing to do? No, you can give no, out as your long number. As, you're, as long as you're giving it out. Yeah, you can give uh, out your num number. My number? Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? We're going to put it up on the screen. What is your number? That's a trick. You know what my lady do if I get my number? You're trying to give me a bus. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're working for her, huh? You're working for her, aren't you? No. <laughs> Well, I know that we're currently we're uh, uh, Sean's actually currently working on getting um, his stuff out there. Um, so in the meantime, what people can do is they can uh, message our uh, our hotline. If they leave an email or yeah, if they leave an email, we will get we will get back to them later on once we have that information from Sean. Oh, I love you, Jack. And, and, we've, you. and we've got some extra copies here. So if uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't want to sell them right now. I want to give them away. I'm doing. It's hard. I haven't proved myself yet. Let's make it a little more out there, and I'll start selling them. Let's get a turn going. Uh, right All now, right. you know, I'm just trying to turn you on to it. Not let's uh, make any money off it. Who's in? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Tom, we've had an... Oh, hey, you know what, Sean? What's your religious background? I'm Christian. You're Christian? Yeah. So what did you think about what these other guys are talking about tonight? 
So anything you asked me earlier, they kind of shook me up. You started asking me what I thought about myself, and I couldn't answer that question either because what I think about myself is different with the perception of the reality of what people actually see me as, what they talk about behind me, you know? But my perception of what I think I'm doing and how I'm doing is different than what you guys would ask me opinion. So it kind of, kind of threw me off earlier. I didn't mean to call anybody dumb earlier about saying oh, I'm no, smart somebody fine. that's dumb. It's just kind of a joke. You know, being smart is kind of, it's difficult too, you know? Just because you're smart doesn't mean everything's easy. You got to say what well, people who don't want to believe you. But to answer your question on that, um... Uh, I, I, uh, this is going good right now tonight. I'd rather uh, skip that. Can I have another question, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so the first Thank guest you. we had on the phone was talking about DMT and psychedelics and and hallucinogenics. Have you ever done any of those? Uh, I, I had a substance abuse problem for 20 years. I yeah. used to be clean now. I've got my sobriety now. And, uh, and uh, when I look back at all the things I did, uh, uh, I'm not ashamed, but uh, I'm not bragging about it. And I'm not proud about it either. How many uh, years you've been clean? Uh I don't really want to get into that right now because okay. I've right. I got a little time on my belt. Not much, but I got a little time on my belt. You got a little time on your yeah, belt. Better, so but I'm it's something with. you don't want to go back to. You know what's to. funny? I'm a, I'm a real hyper, kind of like high strung guy, you know? And uh, I'm great when you want to get the yard work done, but when you're trying to watch a movie, you're like, fucking, send something to the grocery store or something, will you? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the wrong sour cream, Sean. We want the other brand. We want the other brand. Go back at the other brand. Return that one and get the other brand. Come on back. I'll go over here for you. <laughs> but, um, so, but, but, so, Wait, 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 I lost my train of thought. The, the high strung, so it kind of high strung. Uh, lost my, lost my train of thought. You've always been high strung since you were a little kid. No, it's a little bit. Uh, but I got sobered up. It got worse, you know. All of a sudden, I wasn't sedated anymore, hanging around. No, so they wanted me sober and clean. I thought I gave it to them. And I'm like, oh shit, it got worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'll tell you what, Sean. It was a pleasure having you on the show. I really appreciate the the the, 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 the advertisement and, and the promotion too. It means mean a lot to me. Thank well, you when you get much. some new material or when you're ready to promote your next stuff, you come back on and, and yeah, I'd like and to come here and get, get get the boys together a little bit. Maybe you could come in here prior and get it set up and really give you. A, if I want to give you a, a, a thing, I want to do you know, with all the guys and do it right, you know, and rock the house. Maybe we could play one song in the beginning, one song at the break, and one song at the end. Okay. Maybe a little some some. Uh, yeah. Speaking of breaks, man, I, I tried to use the restroom before we started the show because I had to mm -hmm. pee. Somebody was in there and we started. I've been sitting here for two and a half, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Appreciate yeah. it. Let me go a little over. It means a lot to me. I'm oh, no, man, Sean. Fun. It's all I'm, we're all about it. And so for anybody that wants to check out your CD, it's called Feral. I guess the best thing to do for Sean is to subscri Let's subscribe to his YouTube so channel, which is Shut Up Sean. It's all one word. Uh, that's shut up s-h-a-u-n shut up sean all one word he's got music videos up he's got a lot of stuff going on and that's the best place and he wants people to comment on his videos and thank tell him you and comment on there that you saw him live on radio underland yeah, thank you very all right much. sean it was a pleasure having you. sean was a nice guy sean came Super in with nice. he came in with flowers for rachel for the woman of the house he came chocolates. in with chocolates he came yep, in with chocolates, chocolates which missy how many chocolates have you had two and two. i shared and, and, and he brought a box of chocolates for Missy, and then he brought a bigger box of chocolates for everybody else in here. Just a super Who won nice, the money? Who won the money? Yeah, who won, who won the, the money? money? I who got 20. Can I borrow, you got 20 can I borrow I got 10 bucks? Money. Sean needs to borrow 10 bucks. Go for gas home. <laughs> home. You don't want me to stay, do you? I got to give me 10 bucks to get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm running back to you. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. It's been an interesting night, Tom. What, what have we learned tonight, Tom? We didn't get to any of the news, the but DMT I don't think we're going to have time to do it. DMT is the devil. DMT is the devil. Yes. Yeah, I think we kind of went both ways on that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to do any DMT. That Steph was young, going through a phase. Yeah, but just going through a phase. Steph, did you learn anything tonight? Yeah. That he wants to try DMT. I'm going to Acapulco <laughs> with my other half, and we're going to go try DMT in the forest of Acapulco. I think well, you should go straight to Peru. Probably not. Go straight to the jungle. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get stick. in on that. Get in on that warrior's blood. I will, if it's safe for Macy, it's safe for me. Hey, one more thing, please. Sure. Brand, we had a lot of patience with me, and he, he helped me. Uh, he was my, my liaison for getting on to the show, and he won the fifty bucks out of thing. There was three twenty dollar bills and one fifty. He won the fifty. He went to the right person. Yeah. See, some karma went around. There you go. So, so for those of you just tuning in, they didn't realize what was happening. Sean came with a whole box of envelopes, and he passed it around the room, and everybody just grabbed one out of it like it was the lottery until they all disappeared. And some of the envelopes were empty. Some of the envelopes had twenty bucks in them, and Brandon's apparently had fifty dollars. And I have the other two twenties. And you, oh, other, you got two twenties the whole time. You didn't even say anything. I did. Wow. No, you didn't. No, I just did now because he said he got the fifty, and he said he had there was three envelopes with twenty dollar bills in them. 
Yeah. And Misty go. got one. Mm-hmm. If you right. put it out there on the air, now you have to share one with your spouse, probably. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Well, I'll tell you what, peeps. It's been an interesting night. It's been a fun night. It's been a night. Tom. Thank you to everybody that came on. Yes, uh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks to everybody that came in. We had a lot of talent in here tonight. A lot of, lot of fun stuff going on. And with that said... Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Hey, is this our last show of the year? No, we have one more next week. We have one more show next week, and that will be our last show of the year. And it's my birthday. And it's your birthday. It's my birthday. Birthday. Yep. What's coming on on the next show, Brandon? Um, I've talked to uh, Nikki Ellen Poe uh, about being a guest (laughs) next week, and... um, and I think that we may have another musical guest. I haven't solidified that yet. All right. Well, um, I, I may not be here next week, but uh, we do have also our event on the 6th of January at Dave & Buster's. January 6th, if you want to come hang out with us live in person and have a good time, January 6th, Dave & Buster's in Orange County. at the. It used to be called the Block at Orange, and now it's called like the Outlets at Orange. But January 6th, we're going to be live, hanging out, having a good time, buffet style at Dave & Buster's. Uh, $30 and you get $31 $31 and you get a we have a buffet and all of your drinks included non-alcoholic and a $15 and what time is that from 3 p.m. till 6 p.m. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. $30 you get a $15 game card with that and that's Dave and Buster's what date is it January 6th January 6th that's a Sunday people yes so you guys want to come hang out come hang out we're gonna have a really good time that's gonna be kind of our uh, new year kickoff party Yes, New Year's say me. <laughs> yeah, and then if you want, if you like the show and you like what you see here, you can always help support us at. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's coming. Pod it's a Podbean. 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 Oh, Patron. Podbean. dot com slash Radio Underland. Uh, you know the show. The show. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Sean, we do the show for free. We don't make any money off this show. We just come in here to have a good time with all of our friends and hang out and just do it because we want to do it. That's what we do. I can't wait. The haters are going to love this show. Are they? Tell me. They'll be like, yeah, you're not going to see. They won't be able to tell me that I did good. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you're on there. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good for me. It was, it was money well spent. Thank you very much. All right, Sean. We'll see you next time. Everybody. Good night. Good night. You guys have a good one. Good night.